Hey, what's up everybody? It is Thursday on Gender Career Chat. This week we are celebrating the fourth anniversary of this channel. Um, and we are talking about what the channel means to us. And as a bonus, we are either making or acquiring our favorite party food. So, I don't know if this is really a party food, but it's delicious. So, this is a Tim Hortons strawberry vanilla donut. It kind of got crushed in my bag, but whatever. So anyone who is Canadian knows about Tim Hortons. It's a like coffee and donut shop. They also have sandwiches and bagels and whatever else, but uh, it's really good. Um, that is just strawberry on the inside, vanilla icing, and sprinkles. And this is a Tim Hortons French vanilla. Ooh, so good. I love being Canadian simply because Tim Hortons is awesome. Um, yeah. <laughs> no, there's there's more reasons to love being Canadian than that. But anyway, at some point. Okay, so what does this channel mean to me? This channel uh, means a lot to me, actually. Um, when I first started thinking about gender, it was more than four years ago, um, and I watched a lot of YouTube videos. Um, Mostly, I connected with the FTMs. Um, I, I sort of, for a long time, I thought I was probably trans. Um, but something about that just seemed a little bit like not quite it, you know? It was like, yeah, I connect with this, I feel really strongly about this, but at the same time, there's something that's this little twinge of that's not quite right. Um, so, I started watching, there was a few, um, genderqueer YouTubers, which was really good, uh, for me to start watching. Um, and then when this channel came out, I thought it was really amazing, like, really amazing. I, um, I really connected with the people on the channel, um, you know, I started watching it, like, literally right at the very beginning. And it sort of helped me. I was at that stage where I was thinking, okay, genderqueer. And I had sort of come to the conclusion that I was genderqueer and that fit for me and that felt right for me. And then this channel came out and it just felt like there was just some people who, you know, felt similar to me, could kind of understand me, and I... I just felt like less alone and that that really meant a lot to me at the time um, it still does I'm really grateful uh, for this channel um, so I, I watched for I don't know a little while like probably just under a year um, and then I had a couple years where I didn't watch YouTube videos hardly at all um, and then I started thinking about gender again and worrying about it, and I remembered the Gender Queer Chat channel, um, and I thought, you know, I, I could really sort of use some, whatever, <laughs> some people to relate to right now, because I was thinking quite a lot about gender. So I went back and watched, and um, now I'm on the channel. <laughs> so it's been... It's been a really great um, sort of support system for me, even though it's not like, you know, I don't know, it's just been really good for me to have people that sort of feel the same way I do and to just have a little bit of a community um, of people that understand and people that, you know, go through the same things and we can talk about it. And the thing that I love so much about this channel is you know, we have our topics, and even though we are just making videos sort of on our own and talking, it really can turn into a discussion, and I love um, viewer interaction and uh, just, you know, just relating to each other, and I think that that's so important. You know, as human beings, we, we like to relate and to fit in, and we're social animals, and... Um, I think it's really important, and I am incredibly grateful for this channel, so, yeah. 
I am going to eat my donut because it's delicious, even though it's crushed. See, it got crushed. <laughs> it's still delicious. So, um, I will see you guys next week. And, yeah, see you next week. Bye, guys.